Hey everybody, welcome to my crash course on how to keep your Android running really fast. First, you don't want too many apps or too many desktops, so you're going to click the edit button here, edit page, and from here you can add desktops by clicking the, or desktop windows by clicking the plus icon. See how I've just added a couple there? Well, you really don't want to do that. So, you select it, drag it down to the remove in the bottom of the screen, and just keep your home desktop with a couple apps on it. People have asked on my channel, well, how do you access your apps if they're not on your desktop? Well, you see the home button down here, the blue square, you hit that. And that takes me to all the apps. Next, check your status window by sliding down your slider, depending on your phone model. And from here you'll see um, I've got Wi-Fi off. You want to make sure Wi-Fi is off. Now, this will automatically detect for uh, networks that are open, however, you don't want that if you're not using Wi-Fi. Of course, if you're using Wi-Fi, you're going to want to keep that. But for now, we're not using Wi-Fi. Um, it's a good idea to turn off Wi-Fi when not in use. If you're not using Bluetooth, turn it off. I recommend keep GPS turned off unless you need navigation in your daily life with your phone. Turn it off, people. It's going to use a lot of process power. Notice I have auto rotation turned on my phone to auto-rotate when I'm on browsers or um, looking at documents, etc. Okay, after monitoring those processes taking place, check in with your task manager. You can see here that I've got four applications open. Okay, that's not a good idea. I've got my voice recorder, several games, my browser going. But this is a typical scenario, people, that most people are doing on their phone. They're running simultaneous apps, they're not closing out of their browser, and they're leaving their games running in the background and then wondering why their phone is crashing, is slow, is lagging. Exit all right here. Okay, that's going to close out all your applications. It's probably not a bad idea to also clear your RAM occasionally. Right there, the RAM button, clear memory. Again, that has nothing to do with your SD card. And this will help out nine times out of 10, this is gonna help out your slow, laggy, freezing issue. Many people are not closing their mobile browser properly and they're just reading on the internet like this and then going back to your home screen and then proceeding to play a game or whatever. But the problem with that is that if we reference here in our task manager, that browser is still running in the background. You see what I mean? So whatever browser you're using, whether it's Dolphin, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, you wanna make sure you're exiting the browser and clearing your cache and cookies properly. On Dolphin browser, you just hit the Dolphin icon and that on off icon up in the corner here is what you wanna hit. And I have my preferences set up for um, clearing cache and data on exit. I don't remember any of my form data, etc. What you want to do, people, is make sure that you're exiting your mobile browser properly. You see that? Now when you go under Task Manager, you will confirm that my browser is not running, but Super Hexagon still is. So get out of that. Okay. That's just really simple Android maintenance, keeping it running fast and efficiently. That'll keep you out of a lot of trouble right there.